Hi, my name is Bruce Turner, and I'd like to share a little bit with you about something I'm really excited about. It's called Prayer Stream. You can find out more about Prayer Stream by going to prayerstream.com. If you have an iOS device or an Android device, there's even a Prayer Stream app for that. I won't take a whole lot of time to explain what Prayer Stream does. I want to make the focus of this tutorial the fact that you can create your own Prayer Stream and put it on your Facebook page or your own website. Suffice it to say that Prayer Stream is a great way to have some real-time prayer communication with believers all over the world. You can create your own private prayer stream for your church, your small group, your family, and you can manage them all, including how you receive notifications right here on the Prayer Stream website. What I'd like for you to notice is how you can put Prayer Stream on a Facebook page or on your website. I'm going to show you a Facebook page that I have. I do a small online group uh, for LifeChurch.tv called The Eddy. And you can see, and I'll show you how to create this, but I've already created a prayer stream for our, my, our Facebook page. So if I click on that prayer stream app uh, button that's on my Facebook page, it'll take you to prayer stream on our uh, Facebook page that we have for the Eddy. And here you can see it's embedded now on our Facebook page. Here's a website I have. It's called Morning Manna. I do a podcast called Morning Manna, uh, weekday mornings and uh, reading through the Bible just a chapter a day. This is just a, a blog spot um, page. You can do the same thing on a, on a WordPress site, but it creates a widget. And here you can see that I have fit my prayer stream already embedded on um, my website. And so you can see I have a number of different streams that I can look at. Here's the one for the Eddie Life Group that you saw on the Facebook page. But it's it's just a really neat thing. So how do you create these things? I'm going to illustrate by creating uh, a widget for um, well, I'll, I'll show you how to create one for Facebook, and then you can. It's the same procedure basically for uh, a website widget. First of all, you click on Churches and Ministries at the top. This will bring you to this page where there's a basically a six-step process. The first is uh, an agreement with a statement of faith. This is a typical evangelical statement of faith, and you would just simply check I accept the statement of faith, and then click here to continue. Then here's where you're going to uh, let the system know, do you want to create a, uh, uh, an app for your Facebook fan page or do you want to create it for your website? So I'm going to go ahead and click Facebook fan page. And then down here it says select or build a stream for your app. Now I already have some apps that I've created. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and select my state of Virginia. And then the related ministry would be Morning Mana. And then the stream name, you see it already comes up as Morning Manna. And then I'm going to make this a public uh, prayer stream. And then I'm going to, I have to put in, a, oops, got to put in a description. This is a prayer stream for the Morning Manna family of listeners. So you have to put in a description there. Now I'm going to click Submit. And it says you have selected to use the stream Morning Mana. So I say OK. And then I click here to continue. Here is where you can adjust the app colors depending on, of course, Facebook has a pretty much the same type of uh, template in the background. But you may have paid to have a particular design on your Facebook fan page. If so, you can change the colors of the text and the background and so forth and so on. I'm not going to do anything with that right now. I'm just going to accept the default and click here to continue. Here's an opportunity now for you to invite people, uh, Facebook friends, to participate and be a part of the stream. You can do that now or you can do that later. I'm going to just pass that up and just say click here to continue. Then on the prayer stream uh, app that you're creating for your website, it'll either have this banner that talks about Christian Care Ministry. That's the ministry that I uh, work for who created this app. I'm going to select Keep the Ad Banner. If you want to remove the ad banner, you can, but there's a slight charge for that. Then click here to continue. And it's almost done. Add to page. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add to page. It's going to bring up this Facebook dialog box. And it's going to ask me uh, for permissions to allow this to happen. And we'll just wait just a minute for this to uh, finish doing its thing. This is the last and final step. 
And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to uh, leave this for right now and go back and show you where I have uh, put uh, the prayer stream app on um, on our our fan page, so I can go back to um, to our the the previous page. This is a, a page I have for our small group called the Eddie. And again, if you put it on your um, on your website, eh, let me go ahead and uh, go back to my page that way. So here is the Eddie page. I got the admin stuff up there. But when you add it to your uh, your page, it'll put this prayer stream icon here, so people then can click on it and it'll take you to the prayer stream. It's pretty much the same thing on the uh, on the website. Um, you would just embed. Uh, this widget, if you're familiar with website design, you know how to add a widget to a WordPress site or a blogger site, and uh, you can see that I've done that right here. So that's a little uh, tutorial about, uh, about Prayer Stream, and I hope that you'll check it out. It's a great way to communicate with folks, and I've shown you how to add it to your Facebook fan page as well as your church's website. Have a great day.